Hi, and thank you for coming on this extraction factory visit. I'm Jeff Chilton, the president of Namex, North American Medicinal Mushroom Extracts. My company grows organically certified mushrooms deep in the mountainous areas of China, far from the industrial lowlands. All of our mushrooms are grown on natural materials using modern methods that have been developed over hundreds of years. Today I'd like to take you on a tour of a facility where one of our processing partners makes our mushroom extracts. This facility was completed and started manufacturing in 2015 and is located in a newly constructed economic development zone, which are present in all parts of China. But my story actually begins with freshly harvested mushrooms, which are immediately dried and then sent by the ton to the factories where they're processed into extract powders. These are shiitake mushrooms. Now this is one of the rooms where the raw materials are stored and keeping the mushrooms dry and protected is important to maintain the quality until they are ready to be used. Here are some reishi mushrooms. These are Tremedes, the turkey tail. And this is Tremella. The extraction process begins in this large tank where the coarsely ground dried mushrooms are cooked in hot water or in some cases in water alcohol mixture. The tube at the top of the photo is how the dried mushrooms in the storage room are deposited into the top of the tank. All the water used in the extraction process as well as for facility cleaning passes through an ultrafiltration system. Ultrafiltration uses materials and methods that filter out heavy metals, industrial solvents, pesticides, dissolved solids, bacteria, viruses, and pretty much any waterborne contaminants. So the extraction tank is filled and once it has sufficient liquid, the mushrooms are cooked at 80 degrees Celsius for three hours. The liquid is then transferred to separate tanks for concentration. The cooking process is carried out up to three times just to ensure that all the nutrients and important compounds have been extracted from the mushroom fiber. Now the spent mushroom fiber is removed from an opening in the bottom of the tank and the fiber is trucked away. At this point the extraction liquid is concentrated to a specific density and then sent to the spray dryer where it is turned into a fine powder. This facility is GMP certified meaning it follows good manufacturing practices and it also has organic certification. Of critical importance is the fact that all the air that enters the clean areas of this building is filtered. Here you can get an idea of the size of the air filtration system. There's also daily monitoring of all clean spaces for possible entry of airborne microbes. Here, a media-filled petri dish is placed on the floor in one of the hallways. Filtered air is especially important in the space where the spray-dried extract is collected, since it's free from microbes at this point. The extract is stored in bags until it goes to the packing room and is put into the final package. It might also go to a room for blending 
or even for further screening to remove coarse particles that may have formed during the spray drying process. Microbial, moisture, heavy metals, and other tests are performed prior to final packaging. Once the extract passes the quality control testing, it is filled into a moisture-proof, high-strength foil package. Now it can be packed into the shipping container and placed in the warehouse, ready to ship. In closing, if you are looking for high-quality mushroom products with analytically verified levels of important beta-glucans, we are the leaders. Our goal is to bring you the very best the world has to offer.